next hour. But aside from celebrating our athletes, the Games also provides an opportunity to boost trade between member states. So joining us live now is the Chairman of the Commonwealth Enterprise and Investment Council and former Treasurer of the UK Conservative Party, Lord Jonathan Marland. Lord Jonathan Marlin, good to see you. Thanks for your time this evening. So, uh, yeah, we, 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 do, we do love to be entertained by the sport, but, but what's going on behind the scenes in terms of, of boosting trade? Well, uh, very good to be with you uh, this morning in Australia and this evening here. Uh, we've got a lot of uh, heads of state coming over. Uh, coming over. I'm, I'm actually having dinner with the First Minister of Jersey, Chief Minister of Jersey at the moment. So uh, all the small countries are represented, and they see this as a great opportunity for a business forum which starts tomorrow of networking and trying to build on the great opportunity that is the Commonwealth. It's a well-known fact that uh, it's 20% more uh, attractive to do business intra-Commonwealth, more competitive to do business intra-Commonwealth than not. So that is a very good setting stone for the event tomorrow. OK, I guess here in Australia, we just want to know when this free trade deal with the UK is going to be finalised. What's the word on that one? Well, it's above my pay grade, of course. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> lots of things are above my pay grade. But um, it's uh, very positive. It's a great step forward. Uh, I, I, I think this will be done in, in reasonably short time. And this is actually could found the uh, could create the formation of a commonwealth trade deal so i think it's important this is right it's important that the um the framework is correct because we will be able to add other commonwealth countries to the framework mm. if this uh, proceeds what's your view of the uh the current political Climate, Lord Jonathan Marland, uh, as, as we know now, a two-horse race between Rishi Sunak and Liz Truss too. Have you got a preference? No, I don't have a preference. I'm a loyal Conservative, so I shall serve whoever is chosen. Um, I was obviously very disappointed, having known the current Prime Minister for mm. a very long time, that he has uh, is no longer going to be Prime Minister after September. But the good news is he's coming to open our business conference tomorrow. There has been a petition that's received some 10,000 Conservative signatures. We've been reporting it in the last yeah. couple of days too. I know that the UK's Telegraph has been leading this story. Is there any way that it's reversed? Can Boris Johnson mount a comeback? No, I don't think uh, he can uh, at this particular point. There's no reason why he shouldn't in years to come by. And, uh, and of course, as we all know, Winston Churchill has always been a great model for him. And, you know, they have definitely similarities. His wife said that um, he'd like her husband to go off and learn to paint, uh, which, of course, was what Churchill did. They're, they have yeah. great similarities, and they've got incredible charisma. They were able to connect with the public, like very few politicians were able to do. And uh, I suspect, uh, in time, he will be welcome back, providing he decides to stay in politics itself, mm. which is a big if. Would you like him to? I find him a most charismatic and energetic and positive individual, and I think uh, he will be a great loss to politics um, in the short term that he's hopefully out. Uh, and, of course, I'd like him to come back. OK, Lord Jonathan Marlin, really appreciate your time. Uh, have you got an event that you're looking forward to most during the Commonwealth Games, the, the, the velodrome, where um, we look forward to taking you on? Yeah, well, I, I don't like the velodrome. I was in um, Queensland at uh, Gold Coast and I saw witness incredible uh, Australian cycling then, so it's put me off it for quite a long time. <laughs> but I'm training myself, obviously, for the 100 metres. Yeah. And... Um, but for pensioners, that is. Yeah, good. But they haven't yet, uh, put it in as a sport. What what time uh, are you running these days? <laughs> about three hours for 100. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, <laughs> um, anyway, I, I, I love the contest between Australia and the United Kingdom. As a yeah. keen cricket fan, I've witnessed terrible thrashings at your yeah. hands and occasionally great victories from yeah. our uh, yeah. point of view. Well, the competition between well, that's Australia the and the that's the say one other point. 
Sorry, Yeager. Of course, Victor Victoria is going to be the next um, host of the Commonwealth Games in four years' time, and I find that very exciting because I love your country. Yeah, well, uh, we look forward to seeing you again uh, very soon, Lord Jonathan Marland. Appreciate your time this evening, your time. We'll talk to you again soon. Coming up today's Market Moves, we'll go back to Comsec, plus Australia's longest-running soap